Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Do Not Disturb enhancements that have been made in iOS 12. So firstly we're going to start with some new options when enabling Do Not Disturb. So everyone's used to the familiar control center swipe and then the ability to just tap Do Not Disturb on and off. We've had that for a few years now. However now you can 3D touch on the Do Not Disturb icon and you get some additional options. So you can enable Do Not Disturb for an hour, so it will automatically disable itself after an hour until this evening, or you can do it until I leave this location. So the, at the moment it's showing home, as you can see, but if I was at another location it would set a geofence around where I am, and then once I'm out of that geofence it will obviously detect that I'm not at that location anymore and it will disable Do Not Disturb. Now there is actually a fourth option which isn't showing here at the moment, but it's basically a calendar event sort of smart Do Not Disturb feature. So if for example I was in the middle of a calendar event, at the bottom here there'd be a fourth option which says until the end of, and then it would have the name of the calendar event. So this is useful if say you've got a meeting on your calendar and in the meeting you just tap until the end of this calendar event and then it will enable Do Not Disturb until that event is over. So that's a useful feature if you tend to have a lot of things on your calendar during which you need to have your phone on silent. Now another thing I'm going to show you is the new view that you get for Do Not Disturb on the lock screen. So if I enable Do Not Disturb and then I go to the lock screen, on the lock screen we get this Do Not Disturb notification over here. So this just lets us know that Do Not Disturb is on. It's obviously useful with an iPhone 10 or later, which doesn't show it up there in the top right. Now, if you don't want this here, you can just swipe and clear it away. And it also allows you to just 3D touch and turn off Do Not Disturb. So you've got a nice, easy way to do that. So the next part of Do Not Disturb is actually to do with a new feature that's been added called Do Not Disturb During Bedtime. Now this feature works in conjunction with the bedtime app, so check out my video on that by clicking on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. And effectively what it does is during that bedtime time frame that you've set up, your phone will automatically have Do Not Disturb on, so you don't have to manually turn it off. So if I go into settings and I go to Do Not Disturb, over here you can see I have this bedtime mode option. So if I turn that on, Basically, it will work with my bedtime settings that I've got in the clock app. Let me show you these now. So if I go into clock, but as you can see, I've got my bedtime for half 11 and then my waking up time is 25 past 7. So between these times, Do Not Disturb will automatically come on without me having to do anything. So it's very useful and actually the way it works is actually slightly different to the standard Do Not Disturb. So if I go into photos, I've got screenshots because I obviously haven't got it on now because I'm not in those times that I've got in the clock app. But as you can see here, this is what it will look like when it's on. So the idea behind this different interface for Do Not Disturb during bedtime is to help keep you less distracted during the night. So as you can see, the background wallpaper is all blacked out so you don't get distracted by that at night. And also it says here that calls will be silenced and notifications will appear in notification center. So any notifications you've got won't actually appear on the lock screen at all. So this is to help you, for example, if you wake up at night to look at the time on your phone, you don't get distracted by any of the notifications and end up staying awake reading through your notifications. If you want to see your notifications, what you have to do is actually go to Notification Center and you can see there's this During Bedtime section. So any notifications that have come whilst Do Not Disturb During Bedtime was activated will be under this during bedtime section and once you've woken up and do not disturb during bedtime has been deactivated you'll get this nice screen over here which I find quite helpful so it shows the current weather conditions and, and it gives you a little graphic down there and then you can just tap dismiss to go back to your normal lock screen and continue using your phone. So that's basically how do not disturb during bedtime and just the standard do not disturb it options have been enhanced. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video, then do leave them in the comment section of this video. Please also do remember to check out my other iOS 12 videos. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen. And please also do consider watching the videos that are either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.